Fitness and Performance Weekend. Brought to you by My Fitness and by Wings of Strength. Today's press conference is brought to you by Yamamoto Nutrition. Please welcome President and Chief Olympia Officer, Dan Sullivan. Welcome. You know, each year when we arrive here at Olympia Weekend, one of the things that makes this really special is the opportunity to reconnect with our friends who share our, sort of our shared passion for fitness and bodybuilding and this great community, the NPC and the IFBB Professional League and all the stuff that we all wake up each morning thinking about and spend our time devoted to. One of the things that make coming to events like the Olympia special were the chances to connect with the best of the best in all things fitness and bodybuilding in ways that went even beyond the athletes. And one of the encounters that I always look forward to each year was the chance to spend some time with our good friend, Peter McGuff, the greatest bodybuilding journalist of all time. And as part of that anticipation to see Peter, you knew that if Peter was covering an event, you knew it was an important one. Earlier this year, Peter lost an extended battle with cancer. And for the first time in the history, in the 57 year history of this event, Peter McGuff will not be here to tell the story of the Olympia. He will not be here to use his paintbrush, which was his beautiful work, to articulate and tell the story of these extraordinary athletes these amazing physiques, because the dream of many bodybuilders and fitness competitors was to one day be good enough to stand in front of the watchful eye of the great Peter McGuff. You knew that if Peter McGuff assumed his spot in the press pit, you knew that you were at an event that really meant something. And you knew that was your opportunity to impress the man who better than anyone had the skill, the proficiency, and the artistry to tell the story of the event. And I just hope those of you guys who are in the media, those of you guys who make your living as editors or writers or bloggers or columnists or photographers or any part of the media, my hope is that Peter's legacy will inspire you to do it better, to do it with integrity, to do it in a way that would make Peter proud. And I really hope that you guys, if you don't know Peter's work, Peter was the editor-in-chief of Flex Magazine and Muscle and Fitness for decades. He was handpicked by Joe Weider, the creator of this event, to come over from the UK and, uh, and to start a career in bodybuilding journalism. And he was the absolute best at what he did. And Peter, all of us, who work to continue the legacy of Joe and Ben Weeder and to honor the hard work of Jim Mannion and the Mannion family. And we will add your name to that list because we hope to make you proud. Yesterday, guys, was a really hard day. It was a really, really hard day for us. Yesterday we found out that one of our own, one of our brothers, a man who had spent all year preparing to be here to compete, 
to compete on Friday night for the title of 212 Olympia champion, who would have been on this stage today as one of the representatives of his division because he was in fact one of the best in the world. George Peterson was to compete here at the 2021 Olympia. But more than that, George Peterson would have done so much more because George had this uncanny ability to lift people up. When you walked into a room where George was, you just kind of felt better about the day. He had a way to make you smile, to make you laugh, and quite frankly, to make you feel better about yourself. You'd find George each day at uh, Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym in New York, and uh, he, always had, he always took time for the other members, and he was always there to teach and educate and inspire. And I know his fellow competitors looked up to him and on many levels try to model their own behavior from George's. And when we got word that George passed yesterday, it was so much bigger than losing a bodybuilder. It was the loss of an extraordinary man and a guy that I know many of us were looking forward to spending time with. We were looking forward to celebrating his hard work but more importantly, we were looking forward to watching him inspire you guys. And my hope is that George's legacy will continue, just like Peter, to inspire you guys to want to do this sport the right way, to want to wake up every morning and connect with your neighbor. Be kind to those who are next to you. Let's love each other, guys. There are too many messages in this world at us every single day that if you can't notice and you can't look around, that this is more than about muscle. This is more than about physique. This is a journey, this is a lifestyle that we all share and we must honor those we have lost. We must honor Peter McGuff, George Peterson. We must honor John Meadows, all who we have lost this year. We must honor and celebrate their legacy. They are our brothers, our sisters. They are those who each and every day we work with and we admire and respect. And ladies and gentlemen, we dedicate the 2021 Olympia to their memory. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, the voice of bodybuilding, Bob Chicarillo. What's up, Orlando? A great speech by Dan, and of course we remember and honor those that we've lost this year. There's a whole long list, unfortunately, folks, but the show must go on as they would all, all agree. And we are here, the 2021 Olympia is officially started right now. The Fall Classic, folks, the greatest bodybuilding show on earth, right here in Orlando, Florida. History will be made right here in this stage. And folks, before we get going, I want to take a quick moment to recognize one of our presenting sponsors and bring out one of the greatest trainers in the world. Please welcome Mr. Neil Hill. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Mr. Olympia. On behalf of Yamamoto Nutrition, I'm extremely proud. We are, as a company, extremely uh, proud to be supporting not just the event, but the whole of the IFBB Pro League, MPC, MPC Worldwide, and be here attending as a company which is associated with excellence. At Mr. Olympia, this is the 57th Mr. Olympia, and I'm sure you guys and girls are going to see one of the greatest ever, ever events. And being here as a coach and also here with my team and my athletes, I'm very, very proud. I'm excited to present the company in the light that we strive for, which is always pursuing excellence 
further in the pursuit of sports supplementation just like the athletes. Now I wasn't supposed to be presenting or talking today, it was actually going to be Flex Lewis, but unfortunately he's not well so he's back in Las Vegas. Um, so there's a huge amount of pressure on me to try and pull this uh, Olympia speech. I think it would have been easier to try and win his ninth Mr. Olympia title than try and pull off this speech in front of you. But I sincerely want to say on behalf of Yamamoto Nutrition, we're very, very grateful for all the support that we are giving, but obviously the support that you're giving back to the whole the fitness community. We were formed in 2015. And in those years that we started, we have really grown as a company and we will be coming to the USA for the first time at the end of this year. So even though you will be able to purchase all the company supplements through their website, and obviously we're an international brand, we will be here in 2021 towards the end of this year. So you guys and girls will be able to feel, touch and take those products. I wanna wish all the athletes all the very, very best. I hope you guys and girls have an amazing time, and thank you very much. Yeah. All right, thank you. How's it feel to be on the Olympia stage now? You made it. Yeah, um, it's good to be here. Obviously, um, Flex Lewis obviously stepped away from the 212 back in 2018, and the plans were to take two years off and come back with a, a better physique, or a, a physique which was going to be worthy to be competitive on that international open class stage. Unfortunately, towards the end of our prep, we had to step away through due to injuries and a lot of personal things have been happening in Flex's life, but a lot of very exciting things. So the things that um, have been unfolding in Flex and Ali's lives over the last six months are elevating their futures. There's a lot of exciting things taking place in that family and he will be back in 2022, guys. And we will be looking to challenge what will be the new champion or the current champion, which is obviously Big Rami, in 2022. All right, thank you, Neil. You got it, buddy. And thank you, Yamamoto. We appreciate your ongoing support here at the Olympia. All right, folks, lots to get going. We got a new format, as you can tell, gonna be a little faster action, little one-on-one, -on -one, mono e mono That's what's gonna be going on here today. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun with all the divisions being represented out here on this stage. Big shout out to Jim Mannion, I think he's coming in a little bit later today, and of course our IFBB Pro League gentleman representing Tyler Mannion here in the house today. There's Tyler. Big Jake Wood, your Olympia owner right down here in front. What's up, Jake? And uh, man, it's a who's who out here. I got, I got Alina Pope, a world champ right down here, Wings of Strength representative. All right, well, listen, we can go on and on. It's a, it's a who's who out there. I see Olympians, I see you, Mark. I got you. All right. All right, folks, we're gonna get to it because we've got a lot to cover here today, and I know you guys are really excited about this press conference. Like you see, two microphones, two people coming up. We're gonna get some answers here today. It's gonna be a little bit more exciting than the uh, press conferences of the past. Listen, we've been doing the same thing for about 15 years and we thought it was time for a change. So the athletes are lined up and ready. And of course our audience here and in place. The only question left is fans here at the Olympia. Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former two-time classic physique Olympia champion, Rion Ansley. 2021 Arnold Classic Physique Champion, Terence Ruff Diesel Ruffin! You guys know each other? A little, a little bit, bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. alright. Listen, we're gonna start things off with the bang, and who better than these guys? They've been going at it all year, and actually for the last few years. But this gentleman right here just happened to creep ahead of you last year, right on the Olympia stage. What was up with that, Brian? Ah, uh, that was a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> All respect to Terrence and his physique and uh, his hard work, and him, uh, you know, coming up strong for sure. But but last year, I was off, and uh, I know, and. Uh, I'm not going to say many people know, but I'm going to just say I know. That's the most important one. We know that, uh, you know, that shouldn't have happened. And uh, we're just going to be 
excited to display and to be dominant this weekend, this Saturday. Was, was he just off, Terrence, or you just beat him? Pretty sure I just beat him. I mean, that's pretty clear. We saw the scorecard. <laughs> yeah, man, it's time it came. It, it, it was good. It was a good time. You had a good time, man, but it's it's gone now, you know? Okay. Well, listen, he's a, he's a, it is on. Listen, he's a two-time Olympian champ. He wants that title back, but... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, reigning two-time classic physique Olympian champion. out here, but uh, Chris Bumstead, mustache, back on. <laughs> this is cute. Who is the best? This is really cute, I'm not gonna lie, you know? I've said it before, and they're out here, they're battling for second place, so we let them, they come out here, they want to have their little fight on stage, they want to fight, and we all know when the it comes, they're, they're fighting for second place, so that's why they're out here. Is, is he ever getting his title back? Never. He's done. He's gone. I think, I think he's got you in a 212, bro. How about this guy? He was right on your tail, lad, or was he? Depends when I choose to retire, honestly, so... Oh. Uh, that, that's when he'll get a chance. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to strip down and, and show well, in any given moment, any time, any place. Hey, hey, listen, listen, hey, hey, hang on. Hang on for me, Mr. Rowe. Right now. You can't throw all stuff like, I'm ready to strip down, unless you're ready to strip down. I just said it. I just said it. If you want to show some... Hey, yeah, you want it. You're on a bodybuilding stage here at the Olympia, big man. You want to show what you got, let's see it. I don't need to be doing it by myself, though. This is a competition. I don't need to be doing it by myself, but... I think these fans want to see what you got, man. You want to bring it? You want to bring it? You want to bring it? A little preview of that. See the buttons coming down. He's got abs. See that? Hopefully he's in a little bit of shape. Family of off This guy's in shape, buddy. No, no. I don't know. It kind of looks like last year. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any difference. Yeah, pretty much. Darren, did you beat that last year? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. There we go. What are we up? I tell you to try that out, Chris. Hey, you can give me a shirt, but this shirt's not. Oh! Judge this one. What do you think, folks? Oh, the audience seems to like what they see, Chris. Has he got a shot against you? No chance. Check out the detail on it. This shirt is about three Check out the detail. All right, you know what? We're going to put that shirt back out. You hear the bell, guys. That's it. We're going to see this on full on stage. One of these gentlemen may be your next Olympia champion. Thank you, gentlemen. Here's what we got this year, folks. We got a vacated title. Janet Leyu, Greg representative. 
Got that title last year, but she said, you know what? I'm good. I'm moving on to other things. That means this title is up for grabs, and one of you ladies might just be taking it this year. Call Wasser. You already got three of these titles. Is it number four? We'll see. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Bikini is crazy, so you never know. It's anybody's game. I don't, does that sound confident? Come on, we got number four or what? I don't know. I want to give my best, of course. But hey, at the end of the day, we'll find out Saturday night. Listen, listen, don't, don't give me that melancholy stuff. First of all, you've competed a hundred times this year, all right? Secondly, if I'm not mistaken, are you tied with the all-time record of IFBB Pro wins? I believe so, yes. So you're tied with Dexter Jackson right now, is that correct? With 29 wins, is that right? Correct. So basically, you're like Dexter in a bikini. Yeah. Right? We could say that, but let's not think. I just got to get it out of my head now. Now I got that image. I won't be sleeping tonight. Laura Lisa Patos. You're back, and better than ever. Reemerged this year, made a few changes in the physique. We saw some good stuff this year. Is the title yours? I mean, the only person I've ever, never beat, Angelica Dexterra, Miss Bikini Olympia, is pregnant. I hope she's watching. Hello, Angelica. This is the only one I've ever beat. So she's not here tomorrow and Saturday. So I'm bringing. So you would say that would make you the number one contender, is that right? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, this is it. 2018 back all over again. I believe in myself. I believe that four years ago, I came in with my best physique, and I've worked, and I find ways to work even harder and harder. And here I am, and we're going to be Saturday with the best Laura Lee you've ever seen yet so far. And all right, well, we'll... I'm wearing all white today because 2021 was a uh, 2018. I came in as a dark horse. 2021 is over. Oh. <laughs> Pro tan, not your best friend right at this moment with all white. But Issa Pacini is an Olympia champ. You got three. You got one. Last year did not go your way. You were fighting to get to that top five, but it looks like you fixed it for this year. Yes, and last year was hard for me, but I know a champion never give up, and I'm here to show my best on Saturday, and I'm working hard for it, and I'm excited to be on stage again. Jennifer, Jennifer Dory, didn't you just win a show? Yeah. The Arnold Classic. No? Just the Arnold Classic. Who's the bikiniest of them all? Is the title is yours? This title is mine this year. I, I feel ready for it. I think I'm bring my best. You know, I, I worked my way up here, and I believe I can win it this year. So it, it's, it's up to the judges on Saturday to see what they think. But what you got that these girls don't have? I just won the Arnold Classic title against all of them. So we're we're all going to be bringing improvements. You know, I made the improvements that the judges asked me for, and we're going to show up for that. It sounds like you're the number one contender. Oh, there's the bell. All right, ladies, we will see you guys on stage, and we'll see if one of these ladies. Is your next bikini champion. Please welcome to the stage the 2021 Arnold Classic champion, making his Olympia debut. I think it's been really good. You, listen, you came in, all you've done is prove all the doubters wrong all year long. He's too short. He ain't big enough. Doesn't have what it takes. Can't stand with those guys. All you did was win the Arnold two weeks ago. Yeah, now I got one more show to win. Well, listen, as the young guys coming up, we, we've seen the departure of some of the old school, Dexter hanging them up right here on the Olympia stage. Last year, we've seen a lot of you new guys coming up, but you guys are real, real comparable. Can't wait to see this one. You're looking forward to facing off against this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to see an apple versus an orange for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who's who in that mix? What fruit do you like, Nick? What fruit? Yeah. Uh, I'll be a, I'm, a, I'm a banana guy. You're a banana guy. Oh, boy. Fair enough. Listen, I set out with the old, we had, we had grapefruits years ago with, with Kai. 
Those are for every pound in the attic. Oh, and now we got bananas and apple. Right? What's going on here? I'll pass on the grapefruit. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate that, Nick. Thank you. It's a, it's a, it's a family show here. <laughs> it's insane. Hunter, you can't wear the hat on stage. Does it throw you off? Uh -huh. Only when I'm officially competing and surgically attached other than that. <laughs> Hunter's the only guy I see. He does the uh, pictures leading up to the show. He's got to have the hat on still. So, All right, the question is, can he take out this new guy? Because he just won the Arnold, bro. We'll see you on Friday night. Like I said, Apples vs. Oranges. He's got a lot of size. Now, let's clarify that. Hang on. We got fans here in the tent. They want, this is the, the inside scoop they want. What makes you guys apples and oranges? Why are you complete opposites? I think we should show them right now. Hey, listen. This guy came to play. What do you got? Save it for Friday night. Save it? I think these fans want to see some right now, Nick Walker. from last year and knock him out, but I won't. <laughs> um, I was going to say, you're going to have to lower the mic because Whitney's a little taller than me. A little so, bit. Everybody's a little taller than you. So I'm glad you're giving me the mic. Um, how do I knock him out? By being the best that I could possibly be. And um, I play a fair game, so I'd like to do that fairly. Can't wait to see it. I'll tell you that. Oksana Grishina, you're only one of the most celebrated athletes. Four-time Olympia champ. But you and the current champ went against each other just two weeks ago at the Arnold stage, came up just a little short. Have you made any adjustments to take her out and get your title back? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I need a translator. Are you gonna get, are you gonna beat her this time? Did she just beat you two weeks ago. How do you beat her? Oh, that's why I'm here. Yeah. It is why you're here, yes. How are you going to do it? Well, do I look like I have a plan? I just do things. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a lot more prep involved, but what, what do I know? Missy Truscott, your current reigning, defending Olympia champion. 
listen, you're killing me out on that stage. You, you, you start out, you're 15 feet up in the air, you're taking a header, and I'm holding my breath. Because I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be the greatest routine you've ever seen, or it's over right now. Don't worry, I practice really, really hard, and you know, going forward, uh, the IFBB has implemented rules that you have to get your props approved by the Vice President, Tyler Mannion, so everything is safe, we're, we're very professional, and we are skilled at the skills that we do. So did they approve the fire truck this year? Is that get through? Did that get through? No? No. <laughs> the Tiger did not get approved either. Whitney, you got to be seeing something. You guys are all pretty close. I mean, we like to have a little fun out here, but uh, routinely, you guys kind of work on each other's routines. Well, not so much Oksana. She just wings it, you know what I mean? But, but you, I know, do choreograph out of the routines. Do you guys actually work together on a lot of these things? Uh, some fitness pros, yes, we do. And we also help. I mean, we, we support each other. And so a lot of times it will be that skill that you're doing. Why is it not working? It's in the videos. So, yeah, we help each other out. It's... Comparing apples to oranges in our division. Here we go. You know. <laughs> we're so we got to pick some different fruits if we're going to be doing the fruit salad thing all night. All right. <laughs> right. Which one are we now? That's listen. I got nothing. Okay, I'm just completely out of that one. So. Oh, there's the bell. We're going to see some of the best fitness routines tomorrow night, folks. On stage, and ladies. Please welcome to the stage, reigning two-time wheelchair Olympia champion, Harold King Conkelly! All right, champ. King Kong Kelly. Where do you get the nickname King Kong? Oh, man. It's the workout. Man, my daughter came up with it at the week in gym. Maybe call me Kong at the gym, so it is King Kong. Well, it's certainly fitting, but all you've done is dominate the wheelchair division. Big hats off to Nick Scott. I know he's here in attendance. Instrumental. Good to see you. The Beast putting together this wheelchair division some years ago, and it was always the goal. I know, Nick, from day one, to get it recognized, get it in the Pro League, get more shows, and more importantly, get an Olympia title. And you got that, my friend. Yes, sir. Um, we own number three, working on number four. I tell you what, monumental, but I want to talk a little bit. What does the wheelchair at the Olympia mean to you? Not in terms of your own title, but to your bodybuilding out there. Man, um, it brings the attention to everyone that, you know, what we're capable of doing. You know, even if you have an accident, something happened to you, a little tragedy, uh, you're still a bodybuilder, bodybuilder at heart. Whether you're walking or in a wheelchair, hey, you do the things that everyone do when you go to the gym and represent bodybuilding as fullest. Even if it's in a wheelchair, you still have to do everything, the meal plan, the prep, the workout, to get up in the morning, the struggle, the strife. I mean, it's hard, hard work. Now, much like the fitness division, you guys are a very close-knit group. You all help each other, you, know, you have a, it's competition at the end of the day, but you see the guys, and, and they really enjoy your time on stage together, competing, not so much against each other, but with each other. Right, you know, because you know, each one of us have our own different struggles because the, the T-level is different. Everybody's injury is a little different. But at the end of the day, you know, you still hit the gym and work hard and represent, represent fitness. Well, you have how many, I've, I've lost track, literally, you have 23 titles to your credit? 21. 21. 21. 21 titles, folks. Woo. Now, is there any competition for you? That's the question. Can we get 22 or uh, do you see anybody coming up? I've seen a few pictures of the guys coming up and they're starting to catch you, bro. Yeah, everyone's, you know, they're they learning what they need to do to get their bodies to that point. Um, fortunately, you know, I still do what I do, and I really don't pay attention to, you know, how they're looking. I just focus on me, how to make me better. As long as I'm making me better, then and bring it to the stage, and that's what I'm presenting. A lot of guys are learning what they're making their bodies better, and they, they're, they're learning it, and they, and they look good, and they look better, but at the same time, I'm not that rabbit thinking I'm way ahead. I'm like a turtle still grinding to become the best. Well, listen, you got the physique, you got the nickname. Do you fancy yourself to be any kind of fruit? No. No. Good stuff. Give it up for your wheelchair champ, King Kong Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Olympia head judge, Steve Weinberger. The owner of the Olympia, Shane Wood. All right. <laughs>
gonna be the tall guys here, right? All right, Jake Wood, Steve Weinberg, Big Steve, a rare opportunity. We never really ever hear from the judges. You guys are busy, you're judging and all that. Show comes and goes, and everything moves on to the next show. So this is a great opportunity. I appreciate you coming out for these fans. And um, there's a couple questions. So there's a couple of things I want to get to. I'm gonna get this thing up. Jake, you could probably bring that up a foot or so. So Big Steve, you guys are online just like everybody else, right? Yes. Show comes and goes, here come the conspiracy theories. Now, while I find this stuff fairly amusing, and we hear all kinds of crazy stuff, points, this, that, it's impossible, there's no way this adds up. This, uh, what do you guys think? Like, what do the judges think when they see that kind of stuff? We really don't pay attention to that. Our job is to judge the best bodies are in front of us, and we really pay no mind. When the athletes are on stage, we don't think of any of that nonsense. We're looking for the best athlete there is. The internet is the last thing from our mind. Now, we got 11 different divisions, is that right, Jake? With the addition of, uh, yeah, exactly. 11 divisions with the addition of wellness this year, making its uh, Olympia debut. Is it a lot different when you're judging different divisions, or is it all basically on the standard of the same thing? Symmetry, proportion, shape, muscularity, just different degrees. Different degrees. Thanks for that short answer, Steve. <laughs> I keep it short, Bob. I never know what you're going to come up with. I know, right? Right. But it is, I mean, everybody thinks it's completely different. Like, it's bikinis oh, completely shape, different. Shape, conditioning. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing. Conditioning and shape. And it's not all good. People thought you could have too much conditioning for certain divisions. You know, with different divisions, different qualities of conditioning. Now, Jake, when you're watching the Olympia, do you put your judge's hat on and like, you sit there and basically enjoy the show, or are you kind of assessing and thinking, where, do I, where would I have these people? And how close are you to what Big Steve and the rest of the judges come up with? Well, I agree generally with about 90, 95% of all the decisions. Of course, like everybody else, you don't ever completely agree. You have your own opinions, your own eye, and so forth. I like to go more for the aesthetics over the conditioning. Uh, clearly, conditioning is, you know, important, but hey, it's got to be a beautiful physique standing out there. It's got to be something we can market, in my opinion. Uh, and, um, you know, but hey, at the same time, Great physique's a great physique, you know, when somebody brings great conditioning, you gotta respect that too. 95 percentile, that's pretty, so, so what did Steve get wrong last year, Jake? Let's just get down to this. Come on, Steve, what do you, uh, you know, I, I don't think you worked uh, the athletes hard enough in men's open, you know, no, no, nobody passed out. I mean. <laughs> so, well, I'll tell you this, and I gotta give credit where it's due, Steve, and I always do. You work these guys and their girls, right? You work them and you work them and you work them. Not one athlete has complained in a long time about not getting their, their due, not getting compared enough. If anything, it's maybe too much sometimes, but sometimes when you've got a, a show like the Olympia, you have to go through round after round after round. I mean, these guys are training and these ladies are training, I mean, some of them 20, 30 weeks. It's, it would be disrespectful to us as judges not to give everybody a fair shot for every position. Absolutely. Jake, I'd be remiss if I didn't use that phrase. And point out that the record prize money this year is just a hair under 1.6 million. We will be over 1.6 million next year. Wow. Yeah, so, so all you did in a couple years with that 95 percent, you should be 2 million. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's some things about our show you would change. But, you know. Gentlemen, post down! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get Tyler to judge this one, but Jay, tell me about the production of this event. You got a huge production crew, and all the production has done has come up. That was in a COVID year last year that this easily could have been canceled, but we've been over that onward and upward. The stage is even bigger this year. You know, that's kind of a challenge that we're setting for ourselves. Dan knows us as well as I do, that every year we, we've been putting up uh, a better stage each each year. And so that puts a challenge to us for next year. I mean, how, how do, if you guys, when you see the stage, you know, I, I don't know how we're gonna top it next year. Uh, I don't, but it's our intentions to do so next year. Hopefully we'll, we will be at Zappos. We're, we're praying for this, you know, because you can never tell exactly what's gonna happen in these COVID times. You know, you make your, Make your plans, but then uh, sometimes the world changes your plans for you. Absolutely. Steve, last question to you. Uh, Got 
to get you one quick one. Okay. When you see all these guys putting all their pictures up on, on their IG and all that stuff, and they're sharpened and they're enhanced, and you can tell they're Photoshop, is that helping or hurting them? It hurts them. It does. Honestly, we could see when a picture is real and when it's not real. And when we judge them, we judge what's in front of us, not what's on the internet. All right, give it up for these two guys. You're looking over Jake Wood, Big Steve Weinberg. Please welcome three-time Arnold Men's Physique Champion, Andre Ferguson. Men's Physique competitor from the United Kingdom, Andre Day. What's up, big man? You are the champ, and I know that because it is an even-numbered year. 2018, 2020, 2019. If I'm going by the numbers, isn't it his turn to win the Olympia? Not this time. <laughs> I'm in a whole different league. <laughs> it's not happening this time. He's in a whole different league, Raymond, but all you did was beat this guy two years ago. Are you getting it back? You know it. You know it. I don't know. They know it. Ask them if they know it. That's what you want to know. All right, we've got new guys. New guys, isn't it? Hey, it's Andres. What do you think about these guys? They're going back and forth. Where are you? We'll see you on Saturday. Kind of answers that. <laughs> what do you mean, we'll see you on Saturday? Listen, what do you have to take these guys out? Why is your physique better than theirs? Why should you be the Olympia champion? We'll see that on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got to represent the Andres, all right? Yes, I am. First Olympia? Uh, second Olympia. Second Olympia. How'd you do in the first one? Chief place, but better than I expected. So this time I'm hopefully to improve from last year, and who knows? We'll see what's up the day brings. And we'll see you Saturday, right? We'll see you Saturday, right? Okay, just check it. All right. What do you think? You're stuck between two Olympians here, man. I feel relaxed. I feel calm. Absolutely. What do you got to do physique-wise, though? Again, somebody's got to answer this. What do you have that these two guys don't have? Why should Big Steve Weinberger and that judging crew put you in first place? Uh, I plan on being uh, overwhelming. That's about it. What does that mean, sir? From everything, the physique, stage presence, posing, everything. Andre's gonna be there Saturday. Will you be there Saturday? Absolutely. He's got the same game plan as you. <laughs> we all got the same game plan, Bob. <laughs> what is that game plan? He's got a different game plan, it sounds like. I've been here for 16 weeks. I had a 16 week prep, I've been here. They can be here Saturday, I've been here this whole year. Don't sound like he's backing down anytime soon, bro. I'm telling you, I'm in a whole different league now. I don't see any, I don't see any competition. I never, I never got off of my prep since I stepped off stage last year because losing that title in 2019 to Ray taught me a lot about my life and, my, and I learned it was a big life lesson and um, I learned a lot and uh, you know, I did what I had to do this year to keep this, keep this title. I'm gonna show you guys on Saturday. Raymond, was it just a was it just a fluke that you got there? Was he just off, or did you just beat him? And can you bring that again? I won. <laughs> <laughs> I know you won, but like I said, did you win because he was off, or did you win because you were on? I look better that day, uh, and I will again Saturday. Now, what do you have that's better than Brandon? Overall. Anybody want to show any of that right now? Anybody, uh, Andre? I know you're here for Saturday, but you want to you want to preview anything, here, man? You have to wait till Saturday. <laughs> I figured as much. Yeah. You got to represent here, bro. You want to show anybody what you got? Or you want to wait? 
I think the champ should do it. <laughs> no, no, I think he's a little uncomfortable with you guys. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's better to, to show it on Saturday, who I've been working for. So, so does Andre. Yeah. We'll stick it with Saturday. Listen, he's in a whole different league, man. Don't even bother, he says. He said, take the day off. Just He's already got the title. I think that's what he's supposed to say. But uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we'll see Saturday. <laughs> Looks like we got a lot of tickets sold for Saturday, right? I mean, I think we're good here. It's your year, my friend. 2021, odd number year. Don't know if you can tempt fate, but Brandon's got the last word. Not if I show up. We'll see you all Saturday. Give it up. Bear Mets Physique Competitors. Making their Olympia debut, the Wellness Division. Please welcome 2021 New York Pro Champion from Puerto Rico, Yorisha Ayala. 2020 Olympia Amateur Overall Winner, Franciel Matos. Wellness Olympian from Brazil, Amanda Rosende. And 2021 IFBB Pittsburgh Pro Champion, Angela Borges. Ladies and gentlemen, Wellness has made its Olympia debut. Absolutely beautiful. All right, first time at the Olympia. Who was the first wellness pro? You. All right. From France? No. Brazil. I'm sorry. Everybody in wellness is from Brazil, clearly. <laughs> That's Representing, title up for grabs, first time here at the Olympia. Who's going to be your first wellness Olympia champion? Here. Well, Miss Ayala, take the oh, liquor, please. You know, but I know wellness was created in Brazil, and I'm thankful for that because these amazing girls inspire me to be here. But I want to be the face of wellness. Of course you do. Aren't you the wellness queen? Haven't I heard that uh, before? Wellness queen. La reina? Tell <laughs> la reina. That, I can't do that. In Spanish. <laughs> I, I can't look like that. I can't sound like that. There's... Although I do. I think Francia is going to respect to your opinion. I will win. I work a lot for, to win, stay here, represent Brazil to a lot of wellness athletes to Brazil and stay here for represent the wellness category. I start in a bodybuilding. Let's see tomorrow. I love the wellness category. Let's see tomorrow. I want to win. <laughs> Boy, if there's ever a need for a pose down, this is it. I mean, right? Winning? Ready. I will the champion. I will the first Miss Olympia. Uh, I will. I have been preparing for this moment for nine years. I will, I will you champion tomorrow. Hey, listen. Nothing about, they left you alone over there. They just you just sided over here. No, no, no. I go to report. Oh, you're an interpreter. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, please, please do. Tell me. Dime, que él está preguntando quién será la primera campeona de Wells. Espero que yo. But I can. I. Good Lord, I think we just need some poses. That's what we need, right? Yes. How excited are you girls that we got wellness in the Olympia? Oh my God! I think everybody's excited. You know, us, us to everybody. Listen, folks, we could debate stuff all day long, different languages, I have no idea what they're saying, but that's okay, but the one thing is for sure, there is nothing half-assed about wellness. Thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2019 Mr. Olympia, Brandon.
selling insurance? You know, you gotta keep the bag, you know? Damn, you know, my bag. So premise, my bag collection, you know. I always had me looking nice and always keeps me prepared, you know. You never know. You never know what you gotta pack. No, you never know. There's probably some trunks in there, a little protein, right? Some oil. Definitely food. A little like Professor Curry here. I like this. I'm, I'm trying to be smart this year, you know? Well, you look smart. I know that. You know, nice. Bottom line is this, champ. You had the title, you gave it up. Is it coming back? You know, God willing, it's coming back. You know, we, uh, we know who we gotta be. We uh, prepare for the strategy to, to win, and we just got to execute. So just a little bit more work to do, and we will bring that title back home, God willing. Oh. Before we get to the conqueror, I want to tell you, Brandon, you've been a great representative as Mr. Olympia. You've been gracious in, in victory and defeat. You've always conducted yourself as a gentleman, and a great representative for the sport. Now, you got, you got Jake's mic here, so let's get that done. <laughs> The Conqueror. Who are you conquering this weekend, champ? Winter. You're bringing a different season, my friend. Yeah, that's why I got my shoes on. <laughs> nice. Well, listen, I know it was tough uh, uh, two weeks ago. You're supposed to be at the Arnold to defend your title there. You got caught up with uh, getting travel overseas and quarantine and all that. Bottom line is you couldn't make it in. It had to kill you, though, to watch in the sidelines, but by the same token, you knew you had the Olympia coming up. True, true. It really, uh, it hurts, you know, I was like, you know, walking with my soul in my hands, you know, but I believe for everything there's a reason, you know, so um, I fought for it two weeks, you know, even though I lost hope, you know, I kept training, I kept doing my thing, doing my cardio in the morning, I kept my meals, you know, so everything what I had to do, I did my homework, despite all the um, uncertainty that I had, I did everything I had to do because, you know, I'm here to take the sandal with me. Brandon Curry, how much do you want that Olympia title back? How do you take out a guy who's close to 300 pounds of muscle? Shape, fullness, separation. Now, I saw some pictures the other day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage from Iran, the Persian Wolf, Hani Chuta. Looks like this stage has got a little more crowded. Uh, it's a more competition. The Persian Wolf. What's up, Hottie? We got more competition. He says he's going to win. He said he's going to win. What do you say, champ? Can you win? I got it. Glad to see all of you here, and I'm happy to be here this year with all the beautiful people. Now, he got here a little bit earlier this year, right? Uh, he says that he was very happy that he was able to come here a little bit earlier this year so that he could show a complete package and show everyone that he's really ready to compete with everyone on stage. Can he beat Big Rami? Big Rami Ro For sure. 
Yeah, uh, with all my respect for my friends, because I know how that hard for everyone, but I'm working very hard to beat myself, and I did that. I'll say this, Big Rami, what you brought last year was enough. And you said, winter is coming in that press conference, and you brought it on stage with all due respect to these great champions right here. But can you duplicate or be better than last year? That's what I work all the year. I'm working to, to let my friends around the world, because you see, you need to see around better than last year, and they did that 100%. Now, you're rumored to be about close to 300 pounds. How much do you weigh? Uh, my weight, 290. Now, I do have, happen to have a scale right here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you want to you step on, big man? Why not? Why not? Why not? Take off your shoes, please. Listen, but, uh, we're, here to, we're here to show the world what's going on. Can you take off your shoes, my friend? No, no, leave the shoes on. Yeah, sure. Yeah, everybody's talking about weights. Now, where's this weight come up here? How do we even know? Oh, you got it there. Okay, here we go. Now, keep in mind, he's, got, he's holding a microphone, okay? So, oh, did it come up on the screen? There we go. All right, Big Rami, let's see what you got. 15. Dan, can we give out a VIP package or somebody guesses it? Like a... There we go. We got weight coming up? What's that say? Good. It says get off. <laughs> 305 pounds? <laughs> I told you he was holding the microphone. That's, no, no, you're 300 even. You look svelte. You look svelte. William, how do you make it beat this big guy? This, this is all great. It's all beautiful, you know, that he's 305 on the scale. You know, but let's see tomorrow. Let's see when the clothes get off. Let's see how it looks like that. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't wait, brother. Yeah. I can't wait. Yes, yeah, size don't mean nothing, man. Let's see, let's see what you got there under the plate. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow we will see the talk that you have here now. We will see if the week can help you on stage. Yes, sir. Can't wait. All right, Hadi Chupan. You got the big man here. Close last year, 300 pounds. Are you better? What the man, Mohammed? Man, I'm sure you special. What the man, Mohammed? He says that uh, the weight is clearly not important to him whatsoever. That's why he came into the open like, division. Like it makes no difference to him. And the thing is, is that he came here to be able to break down all the beasts as much as possible. Brandon, does size matter? And bodybuilding, does size matter? It's still a muscle show, right? Size does matter. But we, we've always had Big Rami, you know, he wouldn't be Big Rami if he wasn't big, right? He's Therefore, big. Yeah. Therefore, he, he showed up as Big Rami again. But, uh, you know, we all got our plans and our packages. The, the key is to stand out on stage, and we know size alone doesn't make you stand out on stage. Uh, it's finer details of bodybuilding that makes this sport great. And uh, that's what we're looking to uh, see on tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, William, message for the big man. Why are you beating him? I'm beating him. Yep, why are you beating him? Quick, quick. Because I've beaten him a lot of times, and this time I'm going to beat him again. Yeah. Last word, big man. Last word. Guys, winter is coming tomorrow. Last year, you had another big event that we just passed not too long ago. 
Yes, I got married December, so it'll be a year anniversary in December. Very nice. So, are we still going with Gillen then, or do we got a hyphen? Like, what do I got to work with here tomorrow? My stage name will be Sydney Gillen. Ah, My yes. My name will be Gillen Benson. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, you are one of the relative newcomers, but a formidable one. Can you give the champ a run? Mm, my English is bad. And my physique is perfect. It's, I can't win. <laughs> Now, she's a four-time champion. That's not easy to get by, all right? But we're going to go with a little critique right here on the spot today. We had Big Steve Weinberger out explaining some of the judging process and how they're looking at things. What do you see when you look at Sydney Gillen? What's your strong points? They're all strong, right? They're all strong points. Beautiful. Shape, symmetry, proportion, small waist. Yo la admiro muchísimo, um, um, mucho la admiro de toda la vida. Voy a hablar en español porque en inglés y nerviosa no. Este, la admiro de toda la vida y yo sé que yo, yo puedo también llegar a, a, a ganar una Olimpia. Espero y este sea, este sea mi año. Este no le quita ningún mérito a ella, ni todo el cariño, ni todo el respeto que yo le tengo. Pero yo vengo por él. I got this. Get some interpret. So I'll just interpret. She said. What'd she say, Bob? Are we making that up now? I'm here to kick ass and shoot gum, and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> That's what I got out of it. Just saying. No, she she actually said thank you, Tamer, that she respects you a lot as a champion and. She recognizes that you're the best in the world, but she's here to compete. And as she should be. Everybody who steps on this stage, you should be coming for that title, as am I. So, now, how many you got left in you? Like, listen, we're getting there. You're married now, right? Kids are going to be kind of coming into the conversation if it's not already. How many do you got? If you take number five, hypothetically, if you win tomorrow night, thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage 2017 Arnold Classic 212 champion, Ahmad Ashkanani. 2017 Mr. USA, Derek Lunsberg. 2019 212 Olympian champion, Kamal Al Carney. And two total Olympian, Lucas Coelho. Two twelve in the house. Okay, we got champs. We got new contenders. Derek Lunsford, let's start with you. Step right up here, sir. Got a microphone here. All right, we've been hearing about how you're going to win this thing for three, four years now. What's up? Yeah, so uh, it's time, man. Well, listen, a lot of changes this year, all right? New coach, new system in place. We've seen the video and the footage. You would put on an incredible amount of size, yet still got to be under that 212 cap. So, question is, you got the tools, you got the gifts, you got the physique. Can you bring the conditioning? Yeah, I think um, just the biggest thing is I needed to just really focus on myself. And having Hani's guidance, he's really helped me mentally and physically both um, become a, a better professional bodybuilder all around. So, yeah, my physique this year, as we're noticing the last few days and weeks and months, is night and day compared to what it's ever been. Um, and just, like I said, I've just been focusing on myself. I love this sport. I want to learn and grow and keep getting better and just be the best I possibly can be. So. Everything is completely different, and um, most importantly, guys, I'm spiritually closer to Christ, and I want that to be known, and that's the biggest thing that has been, yeah, so that's the, that's the biggest change, I think. You know, I've always went to church, I've always considered myself a Christian, but I really want to walk the walk, and, and that, to me, is the most important thing. Um, so. Sounds like you're in a good place, Derek. We can't wait to see it. Kamel Algarni, former 212 Olympia champ. You were in the lead. Last year after prejudging, by one point, 
You ended up dropping the title to the giant killer, Sean Clarita. Can you get it back? Come on. Just give me a second, please. I just want to say something. About what, um, there is a lot of people that last year there with us, and this year is not. One of them, my coach, back home in Libya, he coached me for my first show in 1994. That was my first show. And the last one, our group champ, 212, George Peterson. My God, rest him in peace and have him in a place is better than what we have. Back to your question. One point, come on. One point. The difference is going to be more than one point this year. And I'm sure. How I am sure? Because, thank God, I've reached to this age to see some lines and some difference, some deep tissue, some muscles that came up into my physique that I've never seen. I'll reach, I'll be reaching 50 years next month. And then, and I believe me guys, and I've seen some lines I never thought they're gonna come up when I reach 50. So, you're gonna see something that you never see. And you maybe you've seen it in the 80s, and you've seen it in the 90s, but you're not seeing it this time. Tonight and tomorrow, you're gonna see that. All right. Ahmad Ashkenani, come right up. You've been a contender for probably, what, five years now? You've been that close to getting this title, but you gotta get through him, and you gotta get through the new guys here, and you gotta get through this guy who's supposed to be winning this title, and more importantly, you gotta get through the champ. Do you have what it takes this year, Ahmad? About this year, I did my best. From last Olympia until now, I didn't stop my workout. I do my best, cardio, posing every day, and this year, it will be better. Well, I know it's been challenging because Oxygen Gym has been closed down for most of the year, but looks like you guys got back in action. Hey, you're the new guy here. I am, I am here. Yo voy a hablar español. Yo estoy aquí para enseñar a mucha gente y mostrar que lo Brasil tiene potencial. Así que. You want to show these guys what you got? You guy ain't shy. All right. last year. Lightest guy in the class. He's too small. He ain't big enough. He can't win. What happened? They've been saying that my whole entire career. And look what happened. Look. I was 177 last year on stage. My coach Matt Jansen said we'll be around 182, 183 tomorrow morning. We got a scale right here, champ. Let's do it. You want to do it? <laughs> Talk about apples and oranges. The last guy on here broke it. Step right on, champ. We're going to get your official ring right here. 177 last year did the champ. Put any muscle on that frame. 305. That's still Rammy. 185. Looks like the champ is not playing around, man. He is here. And he means business. Listen, one point was separating you guys. He had you. That's he had you at the prejudging last year. That's not going to happen again. Now, was that because... Five this year. Kamal brought everything that he could bring. Were you off at the prejudge? Did you get better, or was he just did he just have your number at that point? I was better all around. I had a title at home. He doesn't. Let's ask the audience what they think. Pretty, pretty audience, who'd you like last year? Do you like? Come on, what do you think? Oh man, there's the bell. You know what? We're gonna see what they think as you guys take the stage. 
We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, gentlemen. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll see what's going to happen. Please welcome to the stage three-time Rising Phoenix World Champion, Ella Trujillo. Rising Phoenix World Champion, Margie Marvelous! Now we're talking. Yeah. Women's bodybuilding back on the Olympia stage last year, but you didn't get the title, and you didn't get the title. What's up with that, Margie? What up? What's up with that? Listen, ain't nothing we can do about last year. We're talking about this year right now, okay? Yeah. Somebody else has got your title. Yes, yes. Who is that? <laughs> this is 2021. No one has my title. I think her name is uh, Andrea Shaw, I believe. Oh. She says, you bring Margie, you can bring Helen, you can bring anybody you want. I ain't giving up this title. Two time is what you're going to be hearing. What do you got to say about that? Crickets. Go, Mark. Crickets. Can you beat her? Yes. Why? Because I am who I am. Everyone's beatable. Let's not get it twisted. Everyone's beatable. But uh, we're all here to be able to show our hard work, our improvements. But let's not get it twisted. Everyone here is beatable, and we're going to see who's going to do that tomorrow. Ellie Trevino, you've been knocking at that door for the last couple years, competing and competing and competing. Rising Phoenix, this close. Olympia, this close. What do you have to do to take the next step and take this title from Ms. Shaw? Three weeks ago, I did something very risky. I changed my coach. It wasn't working anymore. Um, I had shows where I miss beat and when you're that high up just being a little off being a little too flat that's it so my new coach is Nasia Hyacin we had three weeks of phenomenal prep um, I have never looked better and I can assure you when you see me on stage tomorrow I'm going to be the biggest and most shredded, symmetrical athlete on stage. I have never been in a better conditioning to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your reigning Miss Olympia, Andrea. Ladies, hello. Well, yeah, do you guys know each other? You guys we do, we know each other. LA, Andrea, yeah, nice. <laughs> Marvelous. Yes. Last time you and I were standing like this, it was your uh, wrapping up, I just won the whole show conversation after you got the title. Yeah, that was the and new. That was it, and new. And tomorrow it will be and still. And still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Margie yeah, laughs, she, she scoffs yeah, at that, she laughs. She's supposed to. There's a lot of delusions on this stage right now. I'm not gonna say this because we are all champions in our own right, but there's a lot of delusion happening right now. Delusion? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of delusion. She sounds like she wants your title. She's supposed to want it. Okay. I mean, she shouldn't be up here if she doesn't want it. This is true. Yeah. Ellie said she's gonna be the best that you've ever seen, anybody's ever seen of her. New coach, new format, new Helly Trevino. I believe she's definitely made a lot of improvements in these last four weeks. Well, four weeks it's been because you just won the Rising Phoenix, so you've already beaten most of these ladies. You know, I did my work during the off season. I put on 10 pounds of muscle, so I'm, I'm ready. I know you're driving around in that brand new vet that Jake gave you for that title, right? Yeah. Huh? Styling and profiling. How sweet it is. Margie Martin, <laughs> you want that new vet. I do not want that new vet. I want an I-8. Why do you beat her? What's that? You know, the thing is, just like Helle was saying, it's about timing and not about, you know, sometimes you're just off. For me, I coach myself. I train myself. So the person that is the blame is the person in the mirror. So when you tweak those type of things for yourself, you know what you're doing. So I'm holding the responsibility. Of blah, 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 blah. Listen, 
Why do you beat her? Specifically, what's better? What's better than the champ? You got eyes. You got eyes. But we do not see. You got eyes. You will. We will see. Saturday night, Andre Ferguson will be there. Tomorrow? It's Friday. Tomorrow. Friday. This is tomorrow night, right? Finish this out another day. Hey, you've got... So tomorrow, then? Tomorrow after the show, we've got... You've got 24 hours, champ. You ready? I am ready. I'm just standing over here quietly because... I'm gonna let my physique speak tomorrow. They think it's a two-woman race right here. They think it's between them two. Well, they'll see tomorrow. They will see some shreds they have Why never you? seen ever. Why are you better than the champ? What are you bringing to the table that beats her? I'll say one thing. My glutes... <sighs> that is the international symbol for I'm in shape. <laughs> No interpretation. Hey, she's... <laughs> well, I've got my own. Everybody has their own brand. I mean, when, when I get to the stage, it'll just be... Oh, so, so let me get this Symmetry. right. Symmetry. Symmetry. So, hang on. So we got this right. So you're... Whoosh. Beats her. <laughs> Finesse. We're making music. We are. We're exactly. making good music. We're making it's something here. Beautiful symphony. Apples and oranges. There's the bell, ladies. We'll see you tomorrow night. Let's see who's the champ. Tomorrow night, guys. Just, 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 just ladies just, and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage reigning women's physique Olympia champion, Sarah B. Yankus. Two-time all-classic women's physique champion, Natalia Gold. Women's physique in the house, the champ, Sarah Villegas. Uh, I had to work on that one all last year because when the smoke cleared, you talked a big game. You talked one of the biggest games I've ever seen, but at the end of the day, you delivered. Shanique Grant can't be beat. She's too good. Genetics for miles. Nobody can touch her. You got the title. Uh, it just speaks to the power of hard work, execution, planning, and you know what? When you have your eye on something and you're dedicated and you really work to do it, nothing can stop you. The good thing about what you said, Bob, is yeah, everybody was told, look this direction, listen, look this direction. None of that matters. What matters is what you bring to stage and that's what's gonna matter this year too. Well, as the saying goes, if you can back it up, it ain't bragging. Not only did you back it up, but you actually tried to coax her out of retirement with a $25,000 bounty saying, hey, I'll put up 25 grand if you come back and I'll beat you again. That's how confident you are in your abilities. And I'm just as confident this year. I've spent the whole last year developing my physique to serve the women's physique category. And um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a busy year and, and I'm ready for this year again. I'm ready to bring it, show you guys what I got and catch title number two. Well, she didn't take you up in that $25,000 bet. But Natalia here says, I could use 25 grand. Hey, let's, let's bring it over here, right? So, listen, you guys bring the most conditioning out of anybody. Now, it's not a conditioning contest, but it sure goes a long way because this is the Olympia. But both of you are known. And you can see, even with their clothes on, but look at these legs. Look at this stuff going on. Look at that. There we go. Pose down. Natalia, you've been a number one contender since you switched into this category. Coming from figure, didn't quite know if, if women's physique was your thing, but you've made it your thing. Yes, and here I am to defend, I mean, to try to defeat her tomorrow, and we're going to see, you know, whatever happened in the past, happened, that's the past, you know, and that's what's amazing about bodybuilding, is that nothing is set on stone. You can win one year, another year, and then out of a sudden something happens, or somebody comes better than you, and things change. Okay. All right, so, as you can see, folks, some of the best physiques in the world right here are represented by these two ladies in the women's physique division. We've got a lot of other competitors, but you guys are number one and two. You, of course, being the best in the world. Wait a minute. 
was pretty fast. That was pretty fast, all right? Are we good? Pose down? What do you got, Tamara? <laughs> Who's winning? Can you take her out? Yes, I'm reading that to her. She, what did she say? What'd she she say? said she could take you out anytime she wants. Okay, well, we'll have to see. Like I said, on stage is on stage. I would, uh, I would hate to retire a second women's physique competitor. <laughs> <laughs> to earn respect in this industry and you have to give back to the community, you have to be passionate, you have to show support and love for those who passed away to where we are going, to this platform and everybody. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to represent this sport with my whole heart. I'm going to bring my best and you're going to see the judges are going to decide because my, my part of them. Can't wait to see it unfold. Give it up for the champ, the number one contender. We'll see it unfold on stage. Thank you, ladies. Nine. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage your reigning Mr. Olympia, Mamboa Big Robin. Folks, you see some of the best physiques in the world right here on this stage. History will be made on the Olympia stage. Winter is here. Winter is coming. <laughs> and I'm the biggest and the best bodybuilder in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back your reigning classic physique Olympia champion, Chris Foxton. He's the best bodybuilder in the world. He might be the biggest, but I don't know about the best. So. You might be the biggest, but definitely not the best. I am the best physique on stage. Welcome back. You're ready to global Olympia champion, the giant killer, Sean Polarina. I am the giant killer, and I am the biggest and best bodybuilder in the world. Yay! And now, the Kini Olympia hopeful, Jennifer Tori. Sorry guys, but this is the best body in the world. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think that kind of says it all, folks. That's going to wrap things up for this year's press conference. But they get ready for coming out, we've got a great.